first software has become the core of the enterprise it is no longer a support function or an outsourced task core of the enterprise that software is what drives the enterprise in fact uh, satya nadella says uh, every company is a software company so that's one uh, second uh, artificial intelligence has moved from uh, being experimental to essential and that changes how we approach problem solving that changes uh, how we approach an organization those are the two shifts uh, i think are driving uh, a change in, in the in the world of technology hey guys and welcome to the grow it podcast and uh, it's your host here trigana king and today we are very excited to welcome our guest Anil from Nomiso and today we will be diving into his story a bit and what his company does and some engaging insights into the technology industry. So make sure to stick around but without further ado Anil welcome if you don't mind to to please introduce yourself and uh, just tell us just tell the listeners a, a quick snippet of your story. Thanks. Thank you, uh, Treg, uh, for having me. Uh, yeah, it's exciting to see Grow IT, Grow It, your podcast. But yeah, about myself, uh, I'm Anil Jain, uh, a technology industry professional with uh, a career spanning 30, 32 years plus. Oh, wow. Um, after spending um, 25 plus years, managing uh, large businesses at a major corporation, um, I decided uh, uh, to change course and build this company, Nomiso, uh, which is trying to um, uh, redefine how technology services are delivered to the enterprises. So pretty exciting, yeah. Excellent. And mm -hmm. then, uh, but tell me, uh, uh, tell me, how did you, you know, get into the business sector? Like, um, you know, what sparked your initial interest uh, uh, about the industry? Uh, my career, uh, Craig, uh, has been defined by using uh, uh, technology to drive business impact. I've spent all my life doing that. And it's really inspiring to see um, how technology um, has become increasingly central to every aspect of our business course life as well uh, but I entered this sector more by default uh, <laughs> uh, early 90s when uh, technology wasn't yet a booming industry uh, so in those days perhaps uh, uh, maybe I had no other choice but to enter uh, this uh, industry uh, over a period of time uh, uh, I have really become fascinated uh, by the power of uh, 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 software, uh, how software makes uh, processes better, how software creates uh, uh, enterprise organization velocity, yeah. and how does it make an enterprise better, faster, smarter. Mm. Uh, my deeper passion, however, uh, emerged from uh, recognizing the untapped potential within organizations. Um, Achieving big outcomes requires an ecosystem of people, partners, and technology. Uh, the true magic really lies in how, how we manage these relationships to magnify the impact on the organization. I agree. Mm -hmm. Tell me, and then on, uh, you know, based on your expertise, what are the, the current market trends that you are aware of you know, Anil, what you know, what are you picking up? What way is the the wind blowing these days? Uh, this industry continuously evolves. Uh, a trend started about maybe ten or fifteen years back, called digital transformation. <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, quite. I think we've spent over a decade. Um, um, doing digital transformation. As we look at the industry today, there are uh, two pivotal shifts that are happening in the industry. Uh, first, software 
has become the core of the enterprise. It is no longer uh, a support function or uh, uh, an outsourced task. It's core of the enterprise. That's, software is what drives the enterprise. In fact, uh, uh, Satya Nadella says uh, every company is a software company. Mm -hmm. So that's one. Uh, second, uh, artificial intelligence has moved from uh, being experimental to essential. And that changes how we approach problem solving, that changes uh, how we approach an organization. Uh, those are the two shifts uh, I think are driving uh, a change in, in, the, in the world of technology. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And then, you know, if we can, if we can maybe like dive a bit deeper, you know, how do you see the field of software engineering, um, you know, like evolving, you know, uh, what key shifts are happening in the world of, of technology right now? So, Craig, um, uh, as uh, uh, every company is becoming a software company, uh, they are shifting from a, a, a project-based mindset uh, to product-based approach, which means continuously evolving. Uh, okay. projects ha project has a start point and an end point. Product continuously uh, kind of evolves. It's always complete and it is uh, never complete. Um, so as the, uh, the software becomes integral to the entire enterprise, uh, what becomes super critical is to choose right tools, right methodologies, right uh, talent, uh, for you to become a better software engineering company. And that, I think, is the, is the shift or the trend of the enterprise, which we, we think offers uh, great opportunities uh, to innovate, simplify, scale, and so on. Excellent. Thank you for that. The, if, we could, if we can talk about uh, a bit more about your, your business, uh, Nomiso, what do you see is like the most significant value your business can bring to to other businesses and uh, you know how would you how do you guys currently communicate this value to your mm -hmm. potential clients uh great question um our uh, the nomiso's core value lies in our co-engineering approach as we uh, uh, talked earlier, uh, software is no longer, or, or technology is no longer an outsourced task. I, as an enterprise, need to become a good quality, high efficient, highly efficient software company. Uh, so what do the vendors do, IT vendors do? And that is where our value comes in. We are co-engineers. We are not asking you to outsource your IT function, but we are coming uh, to help you become a software company. Yeah. We believe the, the, the enterprise acceleration, uh, which is uh, velocity, and operational efficiency, which means uh, productivity, uh, are two top priorities. And Nomiso is really dedicated to, uh, yeah. uh, to delivering these through, to, through commitment to outcomes and bringing the most uh, modern uh, practices in software engineering. Yo, I must say that those are excellent values. Uh, uh, definitely, definitely. I can, you know, I can fully understand why why your business is so successful. Um, tell me, Anil, in your opinion, what type of mindset is needed to be, you know, in general, successful as a as a founder of a company like yourself? Great question. Uh, and I won't uh, give you a, a textbook response. <laughs> uh, no, please. I, I want the full <laughs> Anil, Anil response, please. <laughs> yeah. The most important thing, um, uh, I think, is to surround yourself with believers. When you're trying to create something meaningful uh, and you're trying to achieve extraordinary outcomes, you need uh, a relentless pursuit and of course, challenging um, uh, is essential. You, you need to be challenged. Uh, um, but fundamental belief in the vision of what 
uh, uh, we are trying to build as an organization is absolutely key. Uh, so that I think is is is, is one mindset. Of course, uh, um, uh, staying true to basics like uh, putting customer first is always important. I mean, there's nothing that can change that. Uh, but as a mindset, uh, uh, you need a team that that kind of carries the vision and the passion yes. and and be relentless about it that's what i think <laughs> yeah that's that's uh, you know such such good thoughts you know especially uh, you know like you mentioned whereas your business your business are your people right um so so i, I fully i must say i fully agree with that the um you know what would you uh, to dive it maybe a bit more deeper into you know in your in your own thoughts you know, what are some of the most important things that you yourself have, you know, learned in your career? Obviously, you are fortunate to to have had quite a successful journey. You know, those um, those important things you've learned. Um, you know, one of the most uh, valuable lessons that I've learned is that it's the relationships that matter. Uh uh, I may be a top engineer or I may be a great uh, strategist, but without genuine connections with the teams, uh, with partners, with clients, uh, the impact will be very limited. Uh, and that I think is the most important uh, lesson uh, that I have learned. In addition, um, um, being, uh, being a, a student for life is important the business environment, the technology environment continuously evolves. What is cutting edge today will be legacy tomorrow. So we need to constantly learn on how to make impact, how to build meaningful products and services for our customers. Uh, and constantly pushing yourself to grow uh, as a yes, as professional. Yeah. I agree. Uh, I think that's really good advice. Well, uh, Anil, I need to I need to thank you first off for coming on, man. I think uh, this has been such such enlightening messages that you provided with us today, and uh, you know I appreciate it. Tell me for 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 the listeners out there, the um you know where can they where can they get hold of your business uh, of the Nomiso, and you know I'm sure they would go likely to to go have a look over on your side and see you know what are what are the the the, the services that you provide. Where where can we get a hold of you? Well, uh, uh, we have a website, uh, www.nomiso.io. Uh, so welcome there. Write an email to me, anil.jain at nomiso.io. Uh, and we'll be, we'll be there. We'll do what we can to, uh, to make, uh, uh, make an impact. Lovely. Anil, thank you so much for coming on. You've been great. And then all the best to, to not just to you, but to your company as well. Thank you very much, Trek. This was lovely. Thank you for having Thank you. me. Bye now.